John G. Madsen for United States President 2044. A photo ID should be required to vote. We should expand the Medicare program. I support the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. The federal government should require children to be vaccinated for preventable diseases. Marijuana should be legalized. The federal government should increase funding of health care for low-income individuals. The federal government should regulate the internet to deter online piracy. The federal government should not limit funds of, to public schools that do not meet performance standards. Every person purchasing a gun should be required to pass a criminal and public safety background check. There should be more restrictions on the current process of purchasing a gun. People on the no-fly list should not be banned from purchasing guns and ammunition. There should be term limits set for members of Congress. The Senate should hold hearings and a vote on President Obama's Supreme Court nominee. Apple should unlock the phones, the iPhones of suspected terrorists for the FBI. Local police should not increase surveillance and control of Muslim neighborhoods. Victims of gun violence should not be allowed to sue firearms dealers and manufacturers. Corporations and unions should not be allowed to donate to political candidates. I am in favor of decriminalizing drug use. The National Security Agency should be allowed to collect basic metadata of citizens' phone calls such as numbers, timestamps, and call durations. I support the Patriot Act. Internet Service providers should not be allowed to speed up access to popular websites that pay higher rates at the expense of slowing down access to less popular websites that pay lower rates. I do not support affirm affirmative action programs. The government should raise the retirement age for so Social Security. The redrawing of congressional districts should be controlled by an independent, nonpartisan commission. The government <clears throat> should be allowed to seize private property with reasonable compensation for public or civic use. Taxpayer dollars should not be used to fund the construction of NFL stadiums. My stance on abortion is pro-life. I support the legalization of same-sex marriage. The government should not continue to fund Planned Parenthood. A business should not be able to deny service to a customer if the request conflicts with the owner's religious beliefs. Health insurance providers should be required to offer free birth control. I do not support the death penalty. The government should support a separation of church and state by removing the references to money, to God on money, federal buildings, and national monuments. Terminally ill patients should not be allowed to end their lives via assisted suicide. The military should allow women to serve in combat roles. Businesses should not be required to have women on their board of directors. States should not be allowed to display the Confederate flag on, pro on government property. Muslim Im immigrants should not be banned from entering the country until the government improves its ability to screen out potential terrorists. Illegal immigrants should have access to government subsidized health care. Illegal immigrants should be offered in-state tuition rates at public co colleges within the residing state. The United States should decrease should increase restrictions on its current current border security policy. Immigrants should be required to learn English. Children of illegal immigrants should be granted legal citizenship. Local law enforcement should be allowed to detain illegal immigrants for minor crimes and transfer them to federal immigration authorities. Working illegal immigrants should be given temporary, temporary amnesty. The United States should increase the amount of temporary work visas given to high-skilled immigrant workers. Congress should raise the debt ceiling. The United States should not have bailed out the major banks during the financial crisis of 2008. Employers should be required to pay men and women the same salary for the same job. 
physically and mentally capable adults on welfare should be required to work, volunteer, get a higher education, or get job training. All welfare recipients should not be tested for drugs. The federal government should not should raise the minimum wage. Businesses should be required to provide paid leave for full-time employees during the birth of a child or sick family member. The, the government should not make cuts to public spending to reduce the national debt. The United States should not be should not reduce corporate income tax rates. Wall Street executives should be criminally charged for their roles in the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis. I believe labor unions help the economy. The government should increase the tax rate on profits earned from the sale of, book, of stocks, bonds, and real estate. The Federal Reserve Bank should be audited by Congress. United States sh citizens should be allowed should not be allowed to save or invest their money in offshore bank offshore bank accounts. The government should not subsidize farmers. Pension plans for federal, state, and local government workers should be transitioned into privately managed accounts. I would favor an increased sales tax to reduce property taxes. I support the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I support Obama's MyRA Savings Account Initiative for workers who don't have access to 401k. The government should classify Bitcoin as a legal currency. I do not support increasing taxes for the rich to reduce interest rates for student loans. I support common core national standards. The government should increase environmental regulations to prevent global warming. National parks should be preserved and protected by the federal government. Producers should be required to label genetically engineered foods. I support the use of hydraulic fracking to, dis to extract oil and natural gas resources. The government should not give tax credits and subsidies to the wind power industry. The United States should expand offshore shore dr oil drilling. The United States should not provide incentives for heavy duty trucks to run on natural gas or alternative fuel. The United States should not intervene in the affairs of other countries. The United States should withdraw, withdraw troops from Afghanistan. The United States should not conduct targeted airstrikes on Iran's nuclear weapons facilities. The United States should accept refugees from Syria. Foreign terrorism suspects should be given constitutional rights. Government should not decrease military spending. The military should not be allowed to use enhanced interrogation techniques such as waterboarding to gain information from suspected terrorists. The United States should not formally declare war on ISIS. A every 18-year-old citizen should be required to provide at least one year of military training. The United States should continue to support Israel. The United States should not send ground troops into Syria to fight ISIS. The United States should remain in the United Nations. The, United the military should not fly drones over foreign countries to gain intelligence and kill suspected terrorists. terrorists. The United States should close the military prison at in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. The United States should increase foreign aid spending. I support President Obama's move to lift the trade and travel embargo on Cuba. The United States should not conduct mil military strikes against North Korea to destroy their long-range missile and nuclear weapons capabilities. The United States should not overthrow President Assad of Syria. The United States should not continue NSA, NSA surveillance of its allies. The United States should not prevent Russia from conducting airstrikes in Syria. The federal government should fund stem cell research. I believe in the theory of evolution. The government should fund space travel. Solitary confinement should be reduced for all prisoners. Gambling should be legalized. Prostitution should be legalized. Hemp should be legalized. The, mar the marijuana, alcohol, Tobacco legal usage age will be set at 18 years. Unite all North America as one nation at the agreement of all people involved. I will abolish the parental advisory label from music. The measurement standard should be metric. 
Gays and lesbians should have the right to serve openly in the military. The U.S. should watch should switch to alternative energy production. U.S. Business businesses will become high tech, thus strengthening the economy. Public and private education will will receive full support and funding. Federal minimum wage will be raised to fifteen dollars an hour. The U.S. will will withdraw from foreign conflict in order that foreign counties to stabilize at their own accord. A flat tax rate will be set at 25% for all citizens and businesses. A flat sales tax will be implemented at 10%. So Social Security will be awarded at age 70. Water will be, will be a highly protected resource with measures to improve its safety and efficacy to be supported. Carbon emissions will be reduced by fitting vehicles with alternative energy locomotion. End world, end world hunger, end global, global warming, end world poverty, increase the world's clean water supply and availability, increase education to all people of the world, increase availability and disbursement of medicine and health care for all, reduce, terror, reduce terrorism, abolish the life sentence without parole, initiate a DNA database from all citizens. I do not support a Mexican American Mexican wall. Marital rape should be punished the same as non-marital rape. JGM 1120 2016.